What's going on guys, Logs here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're reacting to Diaz Biffle on Caldi Vanguard Multiplayer. This guy's one of the best Warzone players of all time, so I'm really interested to see what he can do on this game. Uh, I'm really interested to see what his movement is like, because movement on Modern Warfare is the same on this game, so I'm expecting a lot of slide cancels. And uh, Biffle's one of the guys to look for when you want to see what the best movement, him and Joe Woe are going to be one of the guys to look for on how good the movie on Vanguard can be. So that's what we're going to break down today. Uh, this map looks really cool. It looks like a 12v12 map. Uh, I think that's what the game mode is, Blitz. It's a 12v12. I hasn't even seen that guy. So I will say this is 120 FOV, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Biffle was able to play 120 FOV, I guess. I guess he's on a PS5 or something. Or PC, maybe. It looks like they're playing 6v6, but this is a huge map. You can see the slide canceling. You can see how good the movement is. This guy is he's going to be crazy, especially once they add the uh, Vanguard guns to Warzone. And also the Pacific map looks sick. I already saw the Pacific map. Looks really good. I'm super excited. It looks like vibrant. It looks like the colors are good. Everything about this game looks good so far. Uh, I'm super hyped, man. If you can already tell, super hyped about the game. Uh, I'm going to be uploading like crazy, I'm sure, along with other reactions, but I don't know. Um, I really want to grind the multiplayer. Ooh. Uh, ammo? In a supply box? So that's a munitions munitions crate like they had in Modern Warfare. Um, slide canceling, unfortunately. Some people hate it, some people love it, but it's back. Guys constantly doing it. I mean, Biffle's one of the greatest players. I think I've reacted to his Warzone gameplay before. I just don't know if for sure. I want to see a V2 rocket. I want to see someone get a V2. Um, I will say, you know, with it being World War II setting, I know so many guns that I hope are coming. Um, they probably will bring the PTRS. That was one of my favorite guns in World at War. Even though that's not historically accurate, the PTRS was never really used as a sniper. It was like an anti-take gun. PTRS, though, really looking forward to. Arasaka, Springfield. We haven't even seen the Springfield yet, so I'm hoping it's really good. Oh my god, dude. Triple headshot. He got dogs, too. So dogs kill streak. you can see up here. Um, hope he uses it. I want to see what it looks like. I'm really looking forward to see what the, uh, Kill streaks are. Excuse me. If the kill streaks, like if he calls them dogs, are they going to count towards the V2? I don't think they do because they didn't in Modern Warfare 2019. It had to be 30 gun kills for the V2. And I hope that's what it is because I love going for 30 gun kills, dude. That is my favorite thing to do on Modern Warfare was go for the nuke. So the, the V2 rocket's going to be fun to go for. Um, but I kind of want to take this time, man. Do you guys enjoy my reaction content to this type of videos? Or do you only enjoy reaction content to. Montages, um, or do you enjoy my gameplay videos? I don't really do too many cut com gameplays anymore, but I'm actually looking forward to trying that out on Vanguard. I want to try to go back and just make some cut com gameplays videos. But I, I personally like watching reaction content, um, and that's what I've kind of been known for. So I'm always down to switch it up, though. If 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 my you know my reactions right now they're not doing well. I'll react to videos that sometimes get a few views, sometimes they don't. So I really haven't found like that one recipe a video I can make consistently that gets me views. Um, but I enjoy watching content and I enjoy making this type of videos right here. This is something I can sustain forever. Just watching other people play, watching other videos. But if you guys don't enjoy this anymore, I'm going to stop doing it. I'm going to start doing something else, but I just have to know. So tell me in the comments what you guys enjoy watching like from me, like what do you enjoy the most. If it is montages, then that's fine, but I've been doing that for a long time, and I enjoy watching uh, other people's gameplay, so uh, it just depends, man. It just depends. I'm, I'm down to time to do whatever I am comfortable with and whatever I uh, enjoy making as long as people enjoy watching it. Struggling very hard to find anyone. Struggling very hard to find anyone. So there's no there's no place on the on the whole HUD that shows how many kills you're on, which I don't like. Like on uh, Modern Warfare, it always said like how many kills at the very bottom. It doesn't do that on Vanguard for some reason. I hope they add that in. Because it's a good way to like dictate how, how many kills you, you are on. I've died so many right, times bro. on a 29 kill streak. If there's a specialist perk in this game, that's going to be pretty cool. I don't think there is, though. I think uh, if it is, it hasn't been showcased. <coughs> 
He's absolutely going in. I don't know what kill streak he's on because it doesn't say. Oh. So this is the perks. You got ghost, which looks like a person running, radar, and double time. But double time is a person running. I don't really get that. I don't know what ghost is, if that's the same function. Because ghost on Modern Warfare was a secondary perk. I don't know what this ghost is. It might be something different. All right, we got a new gameplay, new map. Let's see what this man can do. We got that sight on there. Come on. He has yeah, freaking recoil, biffle. Well, the, this map looks really cool. Yeah, this yeah, reminds me of a map on, on uh, it's weird, on Black Ops 1 of all games. Yeah. But it was on like the, the ocean on Black Ops 1. It was kind of like the shore and it led up into the map. That's what it reminds me of. Also, this map reminds me of literally <laughs> almost every, or Iwo Jima on Battlefield 5. Iwo Jima on Battlefield 5 gives me a lot of good vibes. Uh, Battlefield is a game that I actually want to start playing again. Battlefield 5 is especially because uh, it's it's World War 2 and this game's World War 2. So I just want to get that feel, you know, that World War 2 feel. Because the, the only other World War 2 game I can play COD-wise is COD World War 2 or World War. I've been playing World War my whole life though, and COD World War 2, I just never got into it. Ooh, this game looks fun though. This person feels nice. Mm -mm -mm. I am looking forward to the Battlefield games though. Battlefield 42, 2042 looks fun. We just haven't seen as much about it. We haven't seen gameplay like this game. Oh my god. Oh my lord. The pickup. Actually hit him with a pickup. This guy literally just spawned in on me, bro. This game looks pretty fun. I'm up. I don't know if this game is going to sustain the entire year because Cold War, I only played Cold War for a few months. I, I will say I gave up on Cold War pretty early. I don't know if this game is going to sustain the entire year or not for me. I hope it does. I hope I can play this game the entire year without, uh, without really giving up on it, but... It, we no just way. don't know. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna love Warzone. I love Warzone already, so a new Warzone map would be insane. And I'm sure that's what everyone else is gonna play anyways, Warzone. For some reason, multiplayer doesn't do views anymore, man. Multiplayer videos, like, no one really watches it that much. Uh, it's always about Warzone. Warzone is all the normies, you know? Everyone at work plays Warzone. People I know in real life play Warzone. And I think the reason that is, is because it's free, man. If they just made multiplayer and the whole game for free, they would do so many more numbers, dude. Dogs, uh, I don't know why they don't do it for free. I really don't, because Warzone being free is huge. Um, this is the new map, or the game made called Patrol, where it's like hardpoint, but it moves constantly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll be playing that too much. I want to try to stick to the classics, but it might be a cool game mode. You never know. Um, I really wish they put war in from World War II, or War at War, I mean. They have it in Cold War, it's called Assault, but it's only in 12v12, which is absolutely the worst mistake I've ever seen. If they put Assault game mode on Cold War in 6v6, it would be so good. I don't know why they don't do it. It actually makes me mad. This is cool, destructibility, being able to run through shit. I thought you'd be able to shoot through it a little bit easier, but you can't really see anyone through it, so... Oh my gosh, you got dogs again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, My man's getting stunned. The dogs... Oh, is that a Rottweiler? No, it's Great Dane. What is that? Oh, it's a Doberman. Ooh, the pistol, the Mauser, dude, fully automatic Mauser. I think they, they like spawn on you. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, you're like. Oh yeah. I will say I'm excited for the game, guys. They shot them all. I'm excited yeah, for the game. Like I'm hoping for the best. Long. And tell me in the comments what you guys think. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll link Diaz Biffle's video in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.